Hello, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. Today I'm going to show you how to make this wonderful summery salad that is made with uh, bulgur. Bulgur is durum wheat. It's a wonderful, wonderful ingredient. Obviously, both bulgurs are good. Both of them are good. But if you want it to have to have a, this extra step of being even healthier, I would recommend that you always look at the back, the ingredient list, and then you would check for the amount of carbohydrates, carbohydrates for 100 grams. And between this brown one and the yellow one, there is a 20 gram difference. So I would personally, uh, just because I have to calculate the carb content, I would personally prefer using this brown bulgur because I can have more of it for less carbohydrate than the yellow one. But obviously it doesn't uh, really matter, but as just if you wanted to go the extra step for something healthier and um, really good for your blood glucose, uh, I would recommend the brown durum wheat bulgur. Let's just cook it. Rinse the bulgur, you want to try and get the starch out a little bit, so maybe you rinse it two or three times and then you put it in some boiling water. For me it cooks a little bit like pasta, so uh, you just have to check and see whether it's ready or not. Once you have done this, you get rid of the water and then you try and fluff it up a little bit and leave it to cool because the salad that you are eating is a cold salad. I am going to show you what I do, what my grandmother used to teach me when we were doing um, cutting parsley in little bits because this recipe calls for parsley. Now, you in this parsley that I bought in the store, you don't want to have the stalks. You want really to get the leaves of the parsley. So I'm keeping all the leaves there and get rid of the stalks. To cut parsley very thinly, basically put your parsley in a glass and then with some scissors you need to cut. That's all. Um, it can seem obvious but I think it's easier than doing it with the knife because at least you don't have to worry about all the little bits of uh, parsley going everywhere and just trying to keep it in one place. This is inside the, uh, the glass and honestly it's really good. As you can see, they end up being really, really small cuts and this is just really good. I, I must say that I don't know, I can't do that with a knife, so for me this is the best solution. Now that you've done that with the parsley, uh, you do the same with the mint. Uh, although for the mint you don't have to like cut it in such little, um, little, little bits. I am doing, uh, for one part of the parsley, I will put half of the mint. I've got a little bit of tomato, you know, these little ones like this. I try to cut them in six. If you do not have little spring onions like this, because sometimes they can be difficult, well, for me to find, what you could also use is these onions. They are like, like fresh onions, really new onions. And you could use these green parts as well. The closer here would be better. And uh, it would be just the same. Don't forget that I will leave down in the description below all of the carb content you will be able to know how many grams of this actual bulgur salad is 10 grams of carbohydrates so i will leave everything down there i want to put pomegranate inside my dish now you have what i normally do is i normally buy two or three and then i cut them get rid of the seeds and put them in the freezer so i do not have to worry about it um, as you know, I like to freeze things. So, but I want to show you today, if you have a fresh pomegranate, how on earth are you going to cut this and get rid of the seeds? So this is actually quite simple, but um, I guess you just have, it's like a, something you have to, to get used to. Now cutting pomegranate is kind of easy, but I think the trick is to make sure that you cut it properly so that you don't have to fiddle with the white bits of the, granite, of the, of the pomegranate and having to try and get rid of the pips and everything. So an easier way, I guess, for me is that you basically have got to make four 
um, cuts around the top of the uh, pomegranate. Can you see there are two bits? And this is the bit you want at the top. You make four cuts and then you can, with by holding the top like a little button, just you pull it up and then you end up with something like this. Now you have to try and see because when there's these white bits here, it kind of separates the compartments of the pomegranate seeds. You want to cut from the top to the bottom uh, with that line in mind here so that it's easier for you to then compartmentalize it. Or open quite easily. All you need to do is get rid of the center bit. Like this. You want to add some pepper. Now you can tell that the salad is quite dry because now we are going to make the sauce. Now that your salad is ready, all you need to do is add the lovely sauce. This sauce is made with orange juice, mustard, salt and vinegar and oil. Orange juice will give you such a lovely summer taste to your dish. It's really, really yummy. So I, I highly recommend you try it. And then please let me know in the comments um, if you've enjoyed it or not. And um, that's it. I hope you have enjoyed my recipe. I hope you're going to become a fan of bulgur. It's such, such a wonderful ingredient. Low glycemic, you can just, it's really, really good for you, good for your body. And I will see you next time, my friend. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.